new video game called Watch Dogs is getting a little bit of heat because apparently they have a non-player character in the video game that resembles Trayvon Martin. Now, the whole game's premise is uh, basically about a hacker who's really, really angry and he wants to seek revenge because of the accidental death of his niece. So what he does is he goes around town and he hacks into people's phones. One of the people, the non-player character that he hacks into, is uh, someone by the name of Kayvon Fortin. And let me give you a quick description of uh, Kayvon. Kayvon Fortin appears in the game as a 21-year-old drug dealer with uh, the NPC's name bearing a strong resemblance to that of Martin's. He's also wearing a hooded sweatshirt, uh, as was Martin at the time of his death. Okay, uh, I'm an uh, old man at this point, and I'm confused by all these games. Uh, get off my lawn, kids, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, but as far as I understand, uh, this could be random, uh, but given the situation here and the hoodie and the fact that the names are so similar, it's clearly not random. Yeah. So they, somebody put that in the game. And if they wrote that in, why did they write it in? Uh, well, there's really only two possibilities, and neither one of them is that good. One is to get attention, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but this game, from what I understand, is already doing really, really well. It's not the right way to get attention, right? Uh, and it, it, it only turns people off. Second of all, the second possibility is that it was malicious, because in the game, Kayvon Fortin is a 21-year-old drug dealer. Yep. And, uh, and a bad guy. He showed up as an attacker on a criminal convoy mission. Now, the name Trayvon, Kayvon, Martin, Fortin, that's not a coincidence. That's not a He's wearing random, a hoodie, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely somebody saying that about Trayvon Martin, and the fact that they made him a bad guy le leans me, obviously, towards number two, which is that someone did it maliciously and they thought it was really funny. Um, my guess is that a lot of people aren't going to find it funny. Yeah, there's a family that lost their 17-year-old son because a self-proclaimed uh, neighborhood watchman decided to shoot and kill an ar unarmed 17-year-old who had Skittles and iced tea. So yeah, that, that's a really heated story, right? That's a really controversial story. Of course, a lot of people disagree with whether or not George Zimmerman should have shot him. But regardless of what you think, a 17-year-old died. And making fun of that in a video game isn't funny. And I don't know anything else about the video game. It might be a freaking awesome video game, right? Mm -hmm. But just don't make political commentary like that in a game like this, especially when it's going to harm other people, especially you know family members that lost this kid. Look, maybe I'm giving the benefit of the doubt too much, but uh, like the game makers, if I was one of the game makers, I guess that's why I'm thinking about it this way, I would be livid at whoever wrote that into the game. I would be on a manhunt. They got to be able to figure out who did it. Because even if you're not upset, which you should be, at how offensive it is, it's going to do damage to your brand. It's going to do damage to an otherwise very popular and successful game. It's just a terrible idea through and through.